Hello everyone, I'm Pierre Farrugia and today we're going to visit the Jigandia Neolithic temples. These are uh, believed to be the oldest in the world, so it's a world heritage. First we're going to visit the museum and then we're going to visit the site. From the outside has this uh, unique sculpture and here is the name of the place and it says World Heritage, United Nations Education Scientific Cultural Organization. Well, let's go inside. Once we enter this museum, we can start observing. Well, this was one of the pottery that was found here in Gigantilla. And uh, as the sign says, discover the mysterious gigantic stones that have stood on the edge of Shara Plateau for over 5,600 years. Eh? Going around, you can see in this museum, every part is detailed with history and you can even watch some videos on, uh, on this uh, temple so you can learn more. This is a depiction of the place. This is what we are going to visit. Together. There are these two temples here. Remember, this is something unique, eh? 5,600 years ago. Eh? These are some plaster fragments. You can find here. Look at this stone. Shows some detail of it. You see? There are pictures of the temple as well. Here we can find a uh, part of Bull's Farm found beneath the threshold in South Temple in Gigantilla. See? And this rim of a bowl discovered here as well. Here are some li limestone heads, beautiful heads. This is a conical stone originated observed in one of the outer rooms of Gigantilla South Temple. Here I'm reading what's written here eh, because I am not so good in history. Look how beautiful artifacts found here. And look how big eh, it is eh, compared to me. It's a very decent size bowl. Eh? Everywhere you can find narrations of what's happening here. Here are some uh, stylized human and animal figurines found here. Look how beautiful they are. Impressive, eh? Yeah. And look at this. Amazing, yeah? The detail and even the color of the object is very nice. Especially that broken one up there. How oh, nice, yeah. There are balls, cups, everything. We have other ornaments here, necklaces. Everything here is amazing, yeah? Look, these are the pictures. But look how small they are compared to my finger. Like small dolls, eh? And these small ones here, eh? That's the amazing, yeah? Look. Wow. Seated clay figurines and clay representation of a snail with a human head from the Shire circuit. Everything is beautiful, eh? Look at here, you see? This looks like a representation, but this one looks very impressive, eh? yeah? These are where they were found. All the objects that we have seen, the dolls, the figurines, and everything. And here. We found some more 
fragments of a large stone figurine of this figurine we are seeing here continuing here there are some uh, traditions uh, visitor history a uh, lot of stuff uh, to do in here and, and then if we go in here it's another beautiful area look you see <laughs> look how nice there Look how nice these are. Our figurines and the uh, jewelry that were found here. Coverly shares headdress. Look, this is the one of the skeleton, and this was a headdress with the small snails there. You see? Look how beautiful. And uh, everything, you have information what's inside here. Eh? Look. This was Spina bifida is a development disorder of the back bones. Some kind of bones here. Here we can find some tools. You can find here uh, pointed to put holes, cutting tools, like a small legs, more cutting tools. Uh, uh. And uh, here you can um, do a small game. For example, which one is the cutter, which one is the hammer, which one is the X. And you can mix and match, for example, a is the X and uh, it's here. So you have to find A, which is that one, to A, X here. And you have the written here. Everywhere I have videos on this area. Grinding stones. Here, some pottery again. Bones of pigs, cows, sheep, goats were found here. Here we are going to visit the temples. From the museum to the temples is a lovely walk between this countryside and this uh, well kept pavement with some uh, structures, how unique structures. Here, apart from this beautiful countryside, all green because we are in January. We can see one of the temples in front of us here. Here, everywhere you go, you will find the information on what you are seeing. Even without a guide, it's very simple to do. Uh, we are seeing Gantilla there at the temple, and now we're going to visit down there. So let's continue. Behind me, you can see Gantilla, it's very beautiful. And uh, remember this one. It's 5,600 years old, eh? so it's something that we have to take great care of. It has some reinforcements so to protect it. It's where the site is very well kept. Here it seems that they are doing some measurements of this place to preserve it for uh, other generations. It's something so preci precious. We cannot uh, afford to lose something that is nice. See? So now let's see. Look at the entrance of this temple. You see, we have information everywhere. Going inside the temple, we can feed this, this big slab of stone, which is from one side to the other. And under it, they found a lot of uh, remains. You can see this one, uh, a bowl made of uh, stone. And here we are entering inside the temples. The temples are like symmetric, so you can go to either side. Or, 
I'll be with the whole day, Zara. Circular in shape. Very big stone. And if we go on the other side, it's the same. This is some of the artifacts they found here. Look. And if we continue inside, there are some more steps, bigger, big steps. Look, with hose in there. And here, as you can see, is all with scaffolding because it's being preserved. So we cannot complain too if it's being preserved. It's for our good. And I think is this one of the best places to see. Yeah. See? I do have the information on it. But now we are going on, but this is the entrance. And as you can see here, look, this stone, the holes. And uh, you can see that they are on either side of the temple. It's very interesting, eh? From the first temple there. And now we're going to go in the second temple here. Because there are two. Now we are going into the second temple. The stones, as you can see, are impressive. And uh, how it's built, look. It's, we do have this hose like the other one. And if we continue here, it's impressive, eh? Here, you can even find ho rectangular holes like this in the doorway. Uh, but the marks in the inside, which suggest metal, uh, does not coincide with the date of this temple, so most probably have been done later. Now we are going inside another room like of this temple. The megaliths are very big. Look how many writings there are here. And some dating back to 1840s. 1890. So, this bad habit have been in Malta for a very long time. Which is a shame, eh? as always, as we say. Look how high here it is. It's another room. And you have those holes are. these chambers you can find here here we can find the plans of this site which was published in 1836 As I was telling you before, in uh, the main megaliths, you can find here this big rock. You can find, look, how big circular holes. And if we look on this side, we will find this holes as well. From what I have read there, uh, they don't know exactly the purpose of these holes. Uh, and if we continue, here are this, we are going out now. Here you can find there another hole here but it's not fully true. And on this side, we have another one here. This side is very, is very well kept and taken care of, which is a plus. So, and this is the, we are going out of this temple. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, today we are at uh, Gigantia, Gozo. Uh, this site is 5,600 years old, which is a lot. And now we have ended our visit. Until next time, bye-bye. And as always, like and subscribe. Thank you.